Well, hello, hello, and hello, uh, this is Brother Wes. I got something I want to read to you right quick, and it's going to be in the uh, 23rd Division of Psalm. Listen to this. The 23rd Division of Psalms, it reads as follows. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He lead me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thy art whip me, and thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepares a table before me in the presence of mine enemy. Thou anointed my head with oil, my cup running over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. And what I want to say to you, and I want to greet, greet you today and say, hello, hello. This is a day the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. But what I want to say in this particular scripture right here, and the 23rd division of Psalm, and the fourth verse, it says that, yea, do I walk through the valley of the shadows of death, I will fear no evil. When you walk through the valley, and the shadows of death, of fear, of rejection, of failure, of hate, all of those things that surround you in that valley, you will not feel no evil in that valley. No matter what kind of valley it is, no matter how dirty it is, you will not fear. And there's a reason why. For thy rod, for thou art with me. That means that God is there. You need to know that wherever you go and whatever you face, you need to understand that God will be there when you belong to him. Because the scripture said that when, the, when a righteous man cries, God hears. And so in other words, God's ear is at your mouth. And so as long as you're talking, God is hearing. But the moment that you become quiet, God will come quiet. And so begin to talk to him. Let them know what's going on. Because the scripture also lets me know that when you bless him, when you cry out to him, when you cry out to God, our father, he inhabits, he's inclined, he leans. So in other words, God's going to lean where you need him at. And he's going to become that source He's going to become that blockage. He's going to become that, that refuge. Hear me. Bless you. Is that all right? Welcome to the Ernest West Ministries. In the mighty name of Jesus.